All right, everybody. Well, we are back at it again. Today's Wednesday, Thursday. I think it's Thursday morning. And Travis is wrapping up the last little bit of interior wiring, doing the wheelie sensor and the track temp sensor, as well. Uh, I think. Oh, we've got some interior lights we're gonna do. But checked a few things off the list. I'm going to get started on squaring up the front end to match the hood and check the fender gaps. So I'm going to finish the front end mounting and then work, start working on fabricating the fuel cell and some other things. And I'm going to take the water tank out so we can insulate that. Actually, I'm going to get Tad out here to help with that. We're going to get to cranking. Alright, so progress continues. I'm working on mounting the front bumper. Tad's sealing up or insulating the intercooler box. Travis is wiring. Uh, we got a headlight connector here and then horn and the outside air temp and humidity sensor wiring goes there and then it's going to come tucked down the inner fenders. And then once I get the front end mounted, locked in, then I'll make the fuel cell, build the little box that goes around that. Or not the box, the little, it's gonna have a, like a roll bar around it almost, just a little bit of extra protection for, you know what that's extra protection for. 
but we're cranking away at it. Get some more stuff done on this thing today. Knock a few more things off the list. The list is still pretty big, not gonna lie. List is still pretty big. We'll get back to work, see if we can get some more stuff done. We are plugging away at everything as you've seen in the time lapses that you guys love so much. Yeah. So I'm gonna jump in the back and cut out those rust spots at the back of the windows, make a little patch to just braise in there and then I'll probably just seal it with some uh, panel bond just around the edges so I can dust some paint on that. And then I think the guys come in hopefully tomorrow to put the rear window in do the trim, maybe a trim around the front window. Uh, Tad's working on the hinges for pieces of the bed cover. A lot of different things we got going on. Travis is still working on wiring. <laughs> still working on wiring. But there's fewer and fewer things on the list that still have to do with wiring. He's got a big bundle for the headlight wires, also the horn, the temperature and humidity sensor are out front. And then he's got the tail light harness with the trailer plug. I think that's it. Except for those lights if we do the interior lights. But anyways, we'll jump in, do some cutting, 
try not to make a big giant dusty mess but it's probably gonna happen anyways which stinks because everything's so clean but get at it and keep going forward Well, that's gonna wrap up today. Yes, it's still daylight outside, but I've got my kids, so I gotta take them home and get them ready for school in the morning. And then we will all be back here thrashing away on it again tomorrow. Probably this video, I'm, I'm trying to get videos out, but it's kind of hard when we're thrashing on the car. But this will I'll probably get this one out pretty quick because I've got my girls, so I need to be home with them. So as soon as I get them to bed, I'll edit up a video, get it to upload the next morning. Lots of things we're checking off the list though. The tank is all in and done, except for that little wire there. We've just got to do the Deutsch connector there. It's actually bolted down, which it wasn't while Cletus was here. 
But all that is done up now. So water tank's done. Rear fuel system is done and plumbed. I still have to do the front fuel cell. Travis made a huge uh, step today in the remainder of the wiring. So these plugs here, kind of similar to our uh, injector plugs. In fact, this bottom one is the same for the headlight plugs. But if we want to take the front end off, take the hood off, take both of those loose, they'll be kind of bundled up together. And then that wiring will come out with the, the front of the car, the headlight wiring, the horn, the humidity and temperature sensor that's at the very front of the car. All of that will come off with the front end of the car. And then when you plug it back on, plug the lights back in, they all work really good. I, uh, I'm excited to see how all the lights look at night. I mean, this thing's got all new lights, bright LED lights, even down to the tag light. So pretty excited about that. The front deal is almost mounted. So I need to unfortunately grind off some powder coat right here and make a mount that will catch, catch this and see the headlight wire in here too. Travis will have that done probably by the time I get back in here in the morning after dropping my girls off at school. But gotta do something here with a little, some kind of little mount that can be slid into. And once that is done, the bumper goes back on easy. I got the Zeus fasteners mounted in the bumper. Whew. Lots and lots of little things that just eat up lots of time. So the major things left to do are fuel cell, install the door or the windows, um, the tonneau cover and the parachutes. And that's the last of the major things. So whew. A couple more days and then we will be driving this thing to Bradenton to do some testing. And then all goes well there. We take off for Midwest Drags. <laughs> Thanks again for watching everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't. Check your subscription because YouTube sometimes seems like it unsubscribes people, which is not cool. YouTube, come on. I mean, we work hard for this stuff. But see you guys in the next one.